We are the Gabby's gang. Love to talk all day. Don't know what we are saying on the League of Ridiculous Conversation. I like the fact he has it in black. That's dope. <laughs> right on, brother. <laughs> Not even one of the uh, little uh, anime ones, though. Yeah. Where, uh, where are those? You haven't worn those in a couple weeks. They're in the wash. Okay, all right. Oh, snap. <laughs> How long does it take to wash a face mask? I forget about it. Yeah, because you want to put it in a separate load. You want to put it with your drawers. That'd be yeah. weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got you to My mask there. smells funny. Yeah. <laughs> all right. It's like butt. <laughs> I'm trying. I, I want to get more masks at at, at Comic Con though. Yeah, I really, I, I really, I hope they restock by the time I go on Sunday because I want to get the one that just says hentai on it. <laughs> Solid. Yeah. Solid. I'm. Sh- there's like a bunch. Yeah, I want to get. I want to get hentai. I want to get sugoi. I don't think that's uh, going to be a problem getting masks. I don't know because when Steph was there, they're already sold out. Word. Yeah, I took pictures of the sign that said sold out already, and I was like, but I'm hoping they restock. How? Three hundred calories. Eight hundred calories. Oh Jesus oh, Christ! <laughs> Eight hundred calories. Holy for shit! Bug that I get these, it. These things are packed with nutrients. No wonder they live for so I, yeah, long. Yeah, Captain America's living on. Yeah. Have, have you seen? seen he's still have you seen Snowpiercer? Uh, I've seen the movie, not the yeah. TV show. I don't know if no shows out yet, but that movie's fun. I don't know when. Yeah, the, yeah I don't know when it. Shit. I'm curious of the what the show's game. even going to be. Like, is it going to be on the train the entire time? I, I, yeah, it, it has can to be. be. But I mean, spoilers. Uh, the train crashes at the end. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe in season five. Maybe they take five. a different turn. See that long <laughs> trip. Okay, so it's going to be five seasons, and we're like, where Chris Evans at? <laughs> Chris Evans played by some CW, you know, real cute white kid. Or or the show ends when he's born. You know what, that actually? Works, yeah. You know, actually. So you just uh, need baby, baby Chris Evans. Baby America. Yeah. Uh, baby yeah. America. <laughs> you, you start, pilot episode is like climate change we're fucked it's all going bad everyone rushed to the uh to to the to the trains like you see in the bodies like freezing place like the the day before mm. last or the day after tomorrow yeah day sure after yeah. Tomorrow. day after tomorrow yeah, yeah. Day like the day before last <laughs> that's hey, the red box you know i knew it that's wasn't like, i knew it wasn't original. today that's like when your grandma gives you a movie it's not even close to what you wanted Transformers. <laughs> it's more for oh. yeah. i just knew it wasn't today yeah. right <laughs> um yeah, you could just do all of that time. Yeah. And like your fifth, sixth season is the more or less the revolt of the movie. Although I, I just made myself sad because that means uh, John Hurt would be in it, but. No John Hurt? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No John Hurt. We got to get somebody else in there. Pour one out, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the old guy in Snowpiercer. Honestly, it's been so long. I need to rewatch. There's mm-hmm. one central old you should, guy. You should rewatch I'll remember every year. the old guy. Yeah. But like the old guy, like in the back of the train. Yeah. Not also, like, watch Day of the Doctor because you need to finish that already. Oh. Because she hasn't watched the Doctor Who special. Like, sure, sure. But like she watched everything yeah. like around. She, she so con- contextually, the, I've never Ten tried Doctor Who. I feel like it's so many seasons and Doctors. I'm like, I'm cool. <laughs> it, <laughs> I feel like this giant bus has already passed. Well, the, you know? the good thing about it is you could just jump wherever the new Doctor becomes, oh, yeah. and, yeah. and yeah. then just start with that. Yeah, because half of everything kind of gets thrown out. Uh, and they explain everything else to you. Yeah, literally, so, literally nothing matters. Every every yeah, but then everyone's like, well, "What's your favorite doctor? It's a ninth, tenth, eleven, twelve. I have no Minus idea. Minus the yeah. tenth. Tenth. Most you, like a tenth. He's sexy. Yeah. He's yeah. A yeah. David Tennant. Usually, or even it's, eleven. Yeah. Usually, it's like your first. It, like whoever you see first, you kind of imprint on as being like your favorite doctor. The nine and ten. Nine got me in. And yeah, then yeah. Well, yeah, well but, nine was a reboot, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, nine's yeah, where it actually where it started. Kind of starts. In yeah. starts at nine. Nine got me in. See what I'm saying? This make any <laughs> sense. Ten, I was stuck on eleven. I tried, <laughs> and it didn't work. Eleven was the, bad. Uh, what's his name? He's uh, that tall uh, Frankenstein looking kid. Okay, Matt yeah. Smith. Yeah, he, he, no, he yeah, he was eleven. Then twelve. He's Peter. great. It's just I, is I couldn't get past losing the tenth. That I was like, this isn't the same. No, it's it's my heart's with tenant, and I can't do anything else. Yeah, you got to get over it. Yeah. Because that's part of the show. You but have I'll to get give over it. I'll give the new one a chance. Um, I like girl? her. Shit, what's her 14? name? Um, 13? Yeah, 13. yeah, thirteen. I forget uh, her actress. I forget her name, but God, I like and her. I know it so too. I would give her a chance. Shit, I, I gotta look it up. 
I'm not. Uh, <laughs> I can't even think. I want to say Jody Foster, but I know that's it's not Jody Foster. I know Foster. it's Jody, wrong. But I would I love. I know it's wrong. I'm I would love that, that Doctor Who one off. Clydesdale Cavs just cruising <laughs> through the TARDIS. I keep getting that name. So uh, that's what's throwing me off. Jody, Jody Whitaker. Whitaker. See, Whitaker, yes. so there's yeah. still a yeah. Jody in there. Not a hundred percent wrong. Yeah, no, you're real close. I'm fifty percent. You said there. it. I thought Jody Whitaker, and then I wasn't sure if I was like mixing up other actors. <laughs> yeah. Forrest Whitaker? No. Yeah. Like Forrest Whitaker yeah. as the doctor. Jodie Foster in Forrest Whitaker? <laughs> That's weird. I mean, come on. Is it about time we have a black doctor? I it mean, is. Yeah, is yeah. yeah. Come on Forrest Whitaker's not even British, though. That's I mean, weird. we're going to get a black 007, so I Hell mean. Hell yeah. It's a, Are we, uh, though? Yeah, because so she is, she because Bond is still in the have, movie. Yeah. It's just that he's retired. So right. there's a new 007. That's right. what they're doing? But yeah. then that, and kills she, the, that kills the theory of like James Bond being a cool time, name too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. But I mean, okay. it's it's I, time for, for us to get rid of Bond anyway. Like, he is an iconic character, but we've had 25 years of him. He is also years kind of, him. of a relic of the past. Oh, like, very much so. <laughs> even, um, what's his face? Shit, the last one. I can't remember his name now. Uh, 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 Pierce, Pierce Brosnan. Brosnan. Nope. No. Oh. <laughs> Damn, Craig? 20 years yeah. ago? No, the last one. Oh. Daniel Craig, Daniel yes. Craig. Daniel Craig. Yes. 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 Daniel Craig. Yeah. Uh, even his portrayal is still a little... It's better, but still... Not up with the times, yeah, yeah. we'll say. I don't know. Casino Royale at the time was like a good modern reboot. Oh, no. Casino Royale. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic fucking yeah, film. But it, yeah, but it's, it's like... Oh, and then this, Quantum of Solace happens. <laughs> yeah, it's, Rider Strike, right? It's, it's, it's all that like, this is what Bond is stuff yeah. that like has been since like the 60s yeah you yeah. know like oh bond is is this womanizer bond doesn't like is, is very kind of out for number one everyone around bond dies like all your supporting cast never makes it to the next movie yeah uh like why why not kind of a a more uh like in with the times like a more current for for the uh for the culture kind of bond right. but then you know? that wouldn't be bond but that's the problem. Like that's yeah. that's what that would be the pushback. Yeah. So if because I didn't read that story, I only know like, oh, this girl's gonna be Bond. I'm like, that seems like yeah. weird. And, that, and that's that the seems thing. Too far for this world. Because most people have only read the 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 the, the headline saying, oh, the, the new 007 is this black woman. They're like, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> but she is 007, but she's not James Bond. Yeah. She's right. not Jane Bond. She is not a Bond. She's not Jamie Bond. She's just a new character. Jamie Bond. Who takes up the mantle of James Bond after? Of 007 after James Bond retires, because the movie takes place in Jamaica, and that's where that's where James Bond is retired. Mm-hmm. He's just chilling in. Uh, Says who? Well, I mean the the writer Ian Fleming, who also wrote Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, love yeah. Yeah. Jamaica. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so I think the the premise the premise of this new one is that Bond retires because he's from trying to retire his entire time. Yeah, like, yeah. even the Casino Royale, he's like, "Oh, I go broke my heart. I'm out." <laughs> and again, yeah. Quentin Masala is like, "Bolivia, I'm out." <laughs> and then Skyfall, like, so, he gets shot. He goes, I'm, out. I'm out. Leave me alone, <laughs> please. <laughs> uh, so now he finally gets out, and then I guess as they pull him back in, but he's in Jamaica chilling out. Yeah. Uh, and then I guess once he's gone, there has to be a 007 uh, reassignment because yeah. you think about even. Um, not not was it tomorrow? The I mean, there's more enough. numbers out there, so uh, yeah. But I guess yeah. we got to keep you know. In the world's not enough. 009 is the one that's like the guy who was a code name, but he got like the bullet in his brain, but he can't yeah. feel any pain or was whatever. That, um, that's Pierce Brosnan's. Uh, yeah, it's Pierce Brosnan, but it's uh, fucking the North remembers. Probably I don't. Uh, it's, oh, it's oh, oh Sean Bean. Yeah, no, no, he's 008. He, no, he's 006. Six, double six, and Golden Eye. Yeah, yeah. Golden oh, all right, but it wasn't enough. The whole premise Trevelyan. is Double O Nine. Uh, Renault had like the, the bullet in his brain. Okay. He couldn't feel pain or whatever. So the numbers can be passed down. No problem. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I guess. Yeah. I just don't know why we have more. We don't have more numbers. <laughs> because you've got, you've got a three-digit code name, but we only see singular one digit. Because you can't have double O ten. That sounds dumb. Right. So, but it gets yeah. weird because, like, in Casino Royale, it's established I want to meet- that if you kill two people, you get a double O a code assignment. Oh. Yeah. yeah. If you become a double O, it takes two minutes. It's really easy to become yeah, I'm double just trying O. To, I'm just trying to get to a, a, a 420 uh, joke. <laughs> I'm trying to get to Agent 420. I'm 00420. <laughs> double o. That don't make sense. You just <laughs> Agent 420. No, because it has double O is is yeah, is the thing. is the rank. That is kind of weird. Being like like Agent 1545. Like, <laughs> oh man, it sucks. <laughs> you know. Oh shit. Um, Hi, I'm zero ten. <laughs> yeah, zero ten. Yeah, I guess I guess it gets weird if you start double O twelve, double O thirteen. Yeah, because double O double O is the rank. 
Mm. So there can only be nine I've double never O's. Know, I've never known that. Come on. I've never known <laughs> I mean, that. I've never known I have that. seen mm. maybe half of the Bond films. What? I've seen less than that. <laughs> what? All right, yeah, give it to him. I have the box set, man. I watched them all, <laughs> even the lame ones. Because <laughs> they are, oh, are like a lot of the Ooh. films do not stand up with today's viewing habit. They're, yeah, they're yeah. slow as hell. But yeah, I've seen them all. Because I only started with Brosnan and just. Went from there. I'm like, I, I can't. Yeah, sure, I, I can't find Roger Moore, or Sean Connery age, anywhere. Like, that's, that's fair. That's Sean right. Connery and, and Daniel Craig are very similar. Roger Moore was kind of like the like the the jokey guy who was very very suave. And yeah. Then George Lazenby's the guy who did one movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pierce Brosnan's just the guy who fucks a lot. Yes. He's yeah. Dante's Peak. Sure is. Yes. I like how you go from like fucking to Dante's Peak. And yeah. he's he's Penis. he's also the 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 good dad in uh, oh, yeah, the Stopfire. <laughs> the good dad. He gets yeah. hit in the head of the line. They, yeah, he, he does. Both he's the good the dads, fucking line. No, Robin Williams is the villain of that movie because <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to steal this man's wife. Wow. Who, who rightfully divorced him? No, <laughs> like, no, wow. no, no. He's trying to steal he the kids. He wants to be his. The dad. He's trying to steal the kids, <laughs> but happens to rekindle his relationship with his ex-wife. Pierce Brosnan got the, got the raw end of that deal. <laughs> He's just trying to be a good father. He gets fucked over. That it's, is like, it's like Carrie Elwes in, in uh, Liar Liar. He's just trying to be a good dad. I fucking forgot he was in that movie altogether. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, he, he's he's the other the his other. And is blue. Yeah. I all oh, I remember yeah. is is Jennifer Tilly and then Jim Carrey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In that order. And they 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 paint him to be the bad guy. Like, no, he's just trying to be a good stepdad. Like, <laughs> wow. Because Jim Carrey sucks. I love the in defense of these guys are just good men <laughs> trying to do their business. Yeah. From the the movie from their perspective is like a drama thriller. Yeah. If you if you think about like most of the nineties movies, it's usually that kind of premise where it's just oh it's this hapless guy who's oh, a yeah. fucking train wreck and he ruins this other guy's life. <laughs> <laughs> That's depressing. Oddly depressing. Uh, speaking of Carrie Elwes, have you seen Stranger Things three? Oh God, yes. yes. Not the third one. No, is it no. good? It's better than the second. It's yeah. good. I, really I, like I enjoyed it. it. It's better than the second, though. Yeah, it's better than the second. Definitely okay. better than the second. Yeah, because the second had really weird pacing issues. Yeah, you had that one episode that should not have been the in the one show. Went out of town, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was like, it's like a one hand, like wow, it's a good thing they're leaving that neighborhood, but why are we leaving? <laughs> yeah, the, the the little X Men yeah. uh, episode. Is, like, it, it's it, a weird hiccup. If, yeah. if they had just put played that episode after. The one where Eleven comes back, like Eleven comes back, and then they play the X Men episode. They make way more oh, sense, like a like a flashback. Yeah, it's like, like where have you been? It's like why why, why does she look like this? Yeah, like that would make way more sense than what they did, because that threw off the pacing I, entirely. Yeah, I don't know. I think it still would have thrown off the pacing. Sure, it's a really like it's it's so drastically different uh, from the rest of the entire show. Yeah, it it stands out. Um, no, actually, this season I think is super well paced. It's it's a solid. Yeah. It's such it's a solid great. episode. A, a season. Yeah, Ooh. I liked it a lot. Are they renewing it? Are they renewing it? Yes. Um, These kids are getting fucking old. So there's going to be a season yeah, four. They, they want to do five, but we don't know yet. I mean, it should have ended at three though, because. Because it, 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 it's, 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 it's a perfect it's a, it's a perfect bookend. We believe in trilogies, yeah. so like, why why continue on Toy Story? But, uh, <laughs> uh, hot take, yeah. Car um, Seven. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, what's it? Uh, the, the the kid who just can't get the fucking break in the show. Will Will? Uh, Will All he this, wanted to do was play the yeah. He just Will the season. D&D. Will the season looks like he's ready to vote? Yeah. He doesn't look yeah, like 12, 13. Old. That's yeah. true. Yeah. <laughs> Finn Wolfhard is like six feet tall. Yeah. That's the thing. They're <laughs> so growing tall, and though. they look super tall. Yeah. yeah. All the uh, kids are just growing. And then yeah. Millie Bobby Brown's still like three feet. I'm like, oh man, she's looking up at everybody. <laughs> they putting her on uh, soapboxes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tom Cruise oh. and her. Uh, yeah. Tom Cruise. That's a verb now. Love Speaking it. of Tom, did you guys see the trailer for Top Gun Maverick? No, no. I didn't good? even. It came out, I didn't watch it. I just was. If you watch the, tra- I watched that trailer. I'm like, this motherfucker really learned how to fly a goddamn jet. Because because there's multiple um, shots of him in a cockpit. <laughs> <away>. <laughs> like, okay, okay. Uh, on the first hand, uh, we can do anything in movies. True. Yeah. Uh, we 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 the Disney has has learned the magic that can reduce a, a motherfucker's age like 20 years. It's also true, and it's flawless. Um. Yeah, but but on the other Tom hand, Tom fucking Cruise. Tom would fucking do Cruise it. would hundred percent do, do it. it. He's yeah. a crazy man. He will do it. He hung outside of the airplane. It's true. Just for a shot. He hung yeah. outside of a helicopter and climbed up the thing. 
Yeah, no, hundred percent. Like I do also believe Tom Cruise would learn to fly a jet, and yeah. somehow he did in the last Mission Impossible, or at least a helicopter. Yeah, he learned how to fly a helicopter for Mission yeah. Impossible specifically for that movie. It's weird. I mean, I guess when you're just that rich, and it's like just reasons to learn new things, and that motherfucker actually did a Halo drop. He did. Yeah. What four Halo drops just to get that shot down? <laughs> like. He- he believes in the art. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. It's all overkill, really. <laughs> it is pretty bananas. Yeah, it's like, why are you doing... Okay, Tom. Okay. Like, Tom, we can put you in a mocap suit. You'd be done by lunch. <laughs> exactly. No, I want the authenticity. But granted... No, I want three more months of filming so I can learn to fly a yeah. jet. But, but granted, those movies, fantastic because he does those stunts himself. Because the, the okay. camera can stay on him, not okay. cut away. But, like, but would it still be as impressive if you didn't know... And just assumed it was a CGI like anything else. Well, I think that's kind of the like, appeal. But, like, yeah, but like the, publi- the publicity of like Tom Cruise is hanging outside a jet and yeah. Just, yeah. whatever. Like, wow, that's crazy because he's 100. But <laughs> like Scientology's got the, the, the fucking uh, fountain of youth. He still looks like he's like 42. That motherfucker's like ripped. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's he bananas. He hasn't bro. tasted bread in like 10 years. Oh, you yeah. know, he probably has. He probably has. But Scientology has got all the fucking answers, and we're just keep making fun of it. Um, but like the publicity tells you, oh, this shot is real. So yeah. when you see it in your head, like, wow, this is real. But what if you just didn't know? What What if you just because you can't keep doing them? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> and like I said, with today's fucking CGI technology, you could do the same shot. You could keep it straight on his face, and with it, with the right money, you'd never know. But that's the thing. They, th- for a lot of those action shots, they don't stick on his face. They're, he's he's doing the thing, so yeah. there'd be a, a wide shot of him doing sure. this thing. But I still think they could do that with CGI. No, they 100 yeah. percent could. Yeah, but it's not as cool. But it's <laughs> only cool because you're doing it. I think it's the appeal. I've like, just yeah. accepted that. That's how uh, Jackie Chan got in. It's like, oh, Jackie yeah. Chan is his own stuff. Yeah, but Jackie Chan was doing it at a time when you couldn't like do it any other way. Oh yeah, but I remember yeah. going to, to two movies that, that were terrible as far as like the production value. Yeah, yeah. in the Bronx and Jackie Chan's first strike. Yeah, but because hey, that guy does his own stunts. Yeah, yeah. I bought that fucking special. jumping jumping yeah, through the ladder I is bananas. I have that. I own that copy. Yeah. <laughs> we watched it last year. Like, Rumble Again. the Bronx or Jackie Chan's first strike? Uh, it's in a two. Oh, double see? Feature. So both. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Godfather 1, Godfather 2, and these two <laughs> Jackie Chan yeah. movies. Right out there. Um, okay, so we are somewhere between 17 minutes and just starting this podcast, depending <laughs> on where I'll be uh, at editing. Uh, so I want to introduce the new voice uh, on the podcast, uh, Mr. <laughs> Flobo Boyce. What up? Um, I have mentioned you um, briefly before on the podcast. At In some a good point, way, I hope. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> this uh, asshole. As, you, <laughs> as the man who taught me stand-up comedy. Oh, oh yeah. That was a good, good showing, actually. People I appreciate that. Uh, yeah. I'll pay you later. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, when I did the... the... Yeah, right now, you're paying him an exposure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's how we all so work, right? a website out. I got an album coming out. <laughs> I mean, did you hear? We have now eight listeners. Yeah. yeah. That's that more be, than zero. That could be six more listeners uh, for you, because I'm already a listener, and these two... Oh, yeah. You know, we have a know. nine. Like, we do. Reception yeah. at work decided to, to listen. Oh, okay. So ten. <laughs> Yeah. Plus and the then, email we got this week. Yes. And then was trying to get her husband to listen. And then she tried to preview it today and listened to the Aloha episode. And the first, I, it's I, something back I think. In the day. Yeah, it was a really old one. But she said in the first 10 seconds, Leland was cursing. And I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, did you not mention that? <laughs> yeah. Well, I said we're. Did you I not said, mention that we are not I said safe for we're, work? We are nuts. We talk about a lot of random stuff. Some of it's really fucked up on some parts. <laughs> yeah. And she said like that was what? fine. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot. I can't pinpoint. Okay, them right I mean, now. so she should have assumed there'd probably be oh, yeah, cursing. Yeah, yeah. But also at the same time, like I don't know. I would <laughs> I would hundred percent tell anybody new, like, oh yeah, there's gonna be a lot of cursing. And yeah. if Le- if it's a Leland episode, it might go a little farther than like <laughs> standard street talk. Uh, cause he'll, he'll drop a C bomb once in a while. That's just, <laughs> that's just, true. That's oh, just a road I don't go down. Christmas. True. Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sweet Christmas. <laughs> Explicit. Exactly. Um, so yeah, uh, Mr. Flobo, who, hey, what's um, up? I've gotten to know for, I mean, several years. Yeah. Dress uh, Wrestling was 2016, but before then for sure. Oh shit. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was there. Were you? Were you, were you there for my set? 
Yeah. Did, yeah. Were you there the With year the... I wore a skirt or the year I did not wear a skirt? Ooh. Okay. Because, because, <laughs> like, my, the year Anthony I did wore the set, a purple dress. Uh, that's year two, because the yeah. first year I wore the zebra dress. Yeah, the first oh, year was the zebra okay. dress. I wore a skirt that year. And let us you know, I got some cakes, apparently. <laughs> I didn't know what sizes my, my man meat was. Oh, man, that took me so booty. long to figure out. Yeah, I had booty everywhere. It was weird. It was like, Aww. am I turning myself on right now? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. So oh, that, fir- year, sure. that first year uh, in the, the zebra dress, um, someone sh- uh, sent me a picture of myself from behind. And I checked myself out. I'm like, oh, man, this is all kinds of weird <laughs> yeah. feelings. Why do I have a stiffy right now? I don't know. Yeah, I I mean, mean, yeah. It's getting hot. Oh. Yeah. It's just me, man. Yeah. On, on, on one hand, you You're know, yourself I hit bit. it. <laughs> um, no, uh, so the second year when I did the set, uh, Flobo did not uh, dress up. Yeah, because I was DJing uh, it as well, so I wanted to be able to, oh, you know, to like set up okay. and break down. Yeah, uh, Flobo comedian, DJ, you, yep. uh, writer, sometimes eh? producer, <laughs> oh, less times uh, than that. Uh, uh, general good guy. Well, thank you, man. Appreciate well, uh, uh, host, host. Yeah, I have the most TVs. Well, Podcaster. Oh, there you yeah. go. Uh, you do you do all, all kinds of things. I, I do a lot because I have like crippling self doubt and I'm poor. So as long as I'm keep moving and I'm doing things, and you're I'm, not alone. Yeah, you <laughs> exactly. You're really? Whatever I can do to keep myself <laughs> active. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I know we uh, we worked on that dress for breast thing was for mm-hmm. a good cause and uh, the guy that organized it, uh, Rolo, uh, his mom passed away from cancer, so he wanted to do a cancer mm-hmm. show and and it's actually part of my bit now because it was like, oh, yeah. hey man, we're doing a cancer show. Are you in? And I go, yeah. yeah. All right. All the men wear dresses. I'm like, excuse me. <laughs> you know I mean? yeah. but it's a lot of good a lot of good times and you were awesome MC man you know, definitely thank you for sure. I appreciate that yeah uh, yeah I, I stand out there uh, and just make it up as I go like I I've, if I try to figure if I wrote everything down like oh these are the people on the list I'll do a little background ah here's some 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 stuff uh, I'd forget it and it would just make me more nervous yeah. so more or less, it's like, ah, fuck it, here it goes. I hope this place doesn't burn down. People were <laughs> hocked up on cupcakes. They were fine. Oh, yeah, the oh, booby yeah, cakes. Booby cakes. <laughs> yeah, the booby <laughs> cakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah booby cakes. cakes. It was inside the old Villainous Lair comic book shop, and it was just yeah. peace. Good times, man. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of fun. That yeah. was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, but are you going to do the stand up, or are you kind of just retired? Or? Uh, I mean, you go out on top. Uh, yeah, yeah, you got the one show. I've I'm, never seen anyone do two games. It's like, I'm, ah, quit, dude. It's just... oh, I'm, I'm batting a thousand, man. <laughs> I can, I can quit now the... with a perfect record of wow. killing every show. Yeah, that's true. All the one. That's yeah, true. Because <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't count emceeing the the first one. Because I mean, I'm, I'm sure some people like have a specific talent for it. Yeah, but I just went up. Uh, hey, that person was real great. Ha ha ha. Here's the next person. Eh, I don't feel like that's Dude, something. But the thing is, the posters made you sound like you were like Ryan Secret. It was like you holding the <laughs> hoverboard behind your back, like, yo, tie and everything. That was just my Comic Con that year. Sexy <laughs> as hell. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Thank you. All right, Mr. July. You know? Yeah. Man, it's tough to find a headshot when you don't do headshots. That's definitely <laughs> true. I do headshots, but they're always so old. It's like, oh man, it's like you anymore. Whatever. <laughs> It can be yeah. if you want whatever it takes. Good Man, job. No, the only headshots I got is in Call of Duty. <laughs> ah, I love it. I was like, "What do you mean?" Uh, I was wondering where that was going to go. <laughs> yeah. Is that your game of choice? Are you? Uh... I play. I play everything. Okay, so like, I'm addicted to Rocket League. You know? Yeah, I'm wearing my Rogue shirt. You know? you're, kill- you're killing that Rocket <laughs> League. I'm seeing the uh, yeah. the the clips that you're posting on Twitter. Yeah, I'm trying, man. Like, I'm still like a goal, which pretty much isn't a competition level, but like I've, I've grinded up there. It's the cure for depression because like yeah. it's a sports game where you're in charge of, of just you. Yeah, there's yeah. no yeah. passing yeah. anyone else. If you score, you score. If you screw up, you screw up. And, yeah. Um, I watched it at the championships and i'm a rogue fan for life now yeah uh, i was kind of like dude this game is so stupid and like <laughs> off the wall but it just it just hits home you know what yeah, I mean? like, yeah. like like a burger from carl's jr you know it's terrible but it's so good at the same <laughs> time so oh they're classic burgers I, i've gotten that twice in the last two days it's essentially their version of like what an in and like their take oh, on like yeah, an yeah, in and yeah. out burger i, yeah. I have seen those crown of Roy classic yeah yeah well, That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm 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 still on soft foods for the most part. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, um, even how are you? Are you good? Yeah. I mean, for for all the fear I've had my entire life of dentists and all the pain and the pain I have had from dentists has not gone away <laughs> at all. Yeah. I'm I still, still have man. the fear, but like this experience over the last two weeks of getting these two teeth pulled, 
Like yeah. it has been so easy going to yeah. to to go through. I had the um, stitches taken out uh, today before the uh, before the show. Oh, okay. like even the last time. So we recorded. I still had the tooth that was going to come out. Right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that got done. Uh, and it was a there was more tooth to that one, so like I heard all the cracking and and mm, all yeah. of that. Uh, That's and always I, fun. <laughs> and I had a lot of time to lay there while just a man's got his f- mitts Both in hands. my mouth. Yeah, just double <laughs> yeah. fisting my jaw. Well, no. <laughs> um, I had a lot of time to think because I was way more nervous. Yeah. Mm. And I'm trying to figure out why am I nervous? Like the last one went so well. And so far, so good. Like, I'm hearing more cracking and whatnot, but, yeah. like, and I, and I think I came to it, I just really don't trust men. <laughs> Did you get a nervous boner? No, because that's not that my thing. I don't know well, what that is. No, oh, <laughs> Miss, Miss Andronist? <laughs> um, ah, shit, there's a word for it, but I don't remember. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I, I, cause I really went down the checklist. I'm like, why am, why am I so nervous? I mean, the same dental care this guy is like super qualified uh i've got this real dreamy other dude <laughs> this like <laughs> sven looking kid with like draped uh blonde hair like similar to like my hair but like it, it hangs like my hair what, co- uh, what color was his, were his eyes blue all right so aryan motherfucker yeah, this all right aryan motherfucker just like <laughs> you're gonna be okay when you're doing good i'm like will i You'll i'm be starting okay. to believe <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh so the only thing i said along is like I just, I'm uncomfortable because it's a dude uh, and nothing to do with uh, sexuality. I just am uncomfortable with dudes uh, in this he very says, Look, intimate. He right at me. I know, right? Yeah. Dudes. <laughs> this one. Uh, when, when it comes to like really penetrating my bubble. Yes, yeah. That's fair. yeah no, I understand yeah. that, yeah. Uh, like I have a the, relatable story. But go ahead. The, the 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 little five foot Vietnamese woman. She could she could have gotten on top of the chair with like both hands yanking out the tooth and be like, well, "This must be normal." Yeah, that's a weird <laughs> fetish, but I understand. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we all got it. I spun my brain out for a second because I swear there was a thing I saw this week that I was going to say something about, but I can't remember anymore. So anyway, uh, but <laughs> this dude just working next to me, constantly like, updating me, like, "Gonna feel a push, gonna feel a pinch, gonna are you gonna hear some cracking sounds?" Total professional, uh, but I'm I'm still I can't help but feel like tense. I'm gripping the chair and, yeah. uh, and whatnot. Um, but I mean, overall, it's it's been super great. Do you get um, the key to teeth? You request that, or it's kind of like it's gone, like a baby, like ah, get it away from me. I can't take. Um, or do you take it home? I would jar? have, I would have, but uh, right away, like they just start using the drill and just like just chopping pieces off. Uh, yeah. And like I don't yeah. want like a busted up tooth. Like if they pulled the whole thing. A hundred percent, like that. That'd have been neat, especially since apparently I've got like squid-like length tentacles on on the roots of my teeth. Obviously. Mm. Um, oh, okay. So check this out. Uh, this I feel would make anybody nervous. And just to fucking go my third <laughs> week about talking about uncomfortable dental stories. <laughs> so this guy's pulling the tooth out, and uh, he's keeping me updated. He's talking to his assistant, uh, Sven. We'll call him. Of course. And Sven. And at some point, like three quarters of the way through or, or whatever, like we're kind of coming in towards the ending. Uh, he says, uh, he, he's talking to his friends like, okay, you see uh, right in here, you see that, um, he, said, he says a, like membrane, but I think he, just, he may describe it as something as more descriptive at first. He goes, that's the sinuses. Uh, and he's like now talking to me, he's like, your roots of your teeth are so long, they go function. up to your sinuses. Jesus. Yeah. So then he talks to Sven. He's like, we have to be careful not to push too hard because if we puncture the membrane, we'll have a, a more serious problem. And I'm just like, fuck. I can hear you, bro. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm right here. And now I have to think about for like the next five minutes of all the like the, the cracking and like the, the pulling on my on my mouth. Are we going to pierce my brain? <laughs> are are we going to go too far? Like, I was starting to look forward to the fact that this was going to be done. Yeah. I was going to come back to my room. I was going to put on some NXT, and I was going to <laughs> pop a Percocet and go night-night. It's such a scary <laughs> Everyone's thought, dream right there. Of it. Yeah. Just What's imagine that? someone, like, punching you in the face, and then it, like, fucking up your teeth to, like, puncture... Your sinuses? Yes, it's na- see now I know it's That's a concern. That's a scary see, thought. Yeah. On but now I'm good on one side. Oh, okay. So I just got to watch out for like the yeah, left. Yeah. As soon as hook. you see that fist come, you just 
turn your head. Yeah, I got to give him the left so, side. Yeah, you got to give him the I gotta side. I got to protect you my can. right side there now. You go. The second you, you start finding a southpaw, oh, well, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> I back out. I like how I didn't even say get out of the way. You just move. <laughs> she has much faith other in your fighting skills. No, it's got to take no. You get hit in the face. Turn your face. <laughs> don't try and dodge or block or fight back. Just hard body it. Smooth a little. Um. So yeah, so that's that's been my uh, last two dental visits. You, you know, it's oh, the thing that's geez. really messed me up. Uh, uh, you, you, could, you uh, are you super paranoid about your teeth right now? Yes, because mm-hmm. because uh, <laughs> if you get, you get like a, a, a tooth infection, like like you did or whatever, yeah. if you let let that go for long enough, you could just die from it. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, <laughs> it, it could it could get into your actual cheek bones. Yeah, and like fuck your face up. Yeah. Like that's horrifying. Uh, that actually happened to Jason Muse. Did you see the J- uh, Jay and Silent James Bob, Bob? Uh, re- a reboot trailer? I have not. <laughs> I I've been working like a motherfucker. Yeah. I have not seen shit yet. Just grinding, and making millions. I heard. Hell's yeah. Yeah, that yeah, that, that trailer hell's dropped hell's today too. Uh, that one I will watch. Yes. I don't give a shit about the last. Oh, uh, uh, cats. Oh, fuck. You want to watch cats? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I didn't finish the trailer. <laughs> So, so these two kids. Let me talk to you, Flo. We'll fuck these two. Yeah, exactly. What's up, man? Uh, so these two uh, in our Facebook group that we use for podcast talk uh, and just random communication. Fair. Uh, they put up the Cats trailer. Immediately followed by uh, you watch Community. Yeah. Uh, you know when Dean uh, Pelton. is Pelton yeah. um, is watching uh, the dog videos for the first time. Oh, okay. He's like. This better not awaken anything in me. <laughs> That's the gift that follows the tr- uh, the uh, the trailer with caption uh, Anthony be like. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. So you like your cat guy? Or? <laughs> I mean, the three in the house might reveal something about me. Right. <laughs> Listen, a guy ta- a guy says he appreciates Chitara's body once on a podcast, and now it's a bit for life. I mean, uh, to be fair, I mean uh, we were all a certain age, and uh, yeah, I mean these these <laughs> two don't know. Yeah, these two don't know. But you and me, we were there. Yeah, for sure. I can't. I lie. mean, I was a child. I saw Chitara. I'm like, hmm, that's a cartoon. <laughs> I mean, but, okay. Using that though, there's so many cartoons that we should not yeah, have been no, wanking off to. Then, Jessica uh, Rabbit, Carmen. Yeah, like, and, then, and then I grew up and started watching anime. I was like, I understand now. Yeah, sure. <laughs> anime hentai face or whatever it's called. <laughs> <laughs> hentai mask. We gotta get you a hentai. Mask. I really want a hentai mask. Oh man, are you gonna go uh, work a hentai con again? Uh, wait, I don't wait, know. What? There's a hentai con? Yeah, there's a hentai yeah, con up, up in LA. Yeah, yeah, y'all missed it, man. That seems very year. specific. Yeah. I, bet, I bet it was like sold out. I bet uh, it, was... it wasn't sold out because it was just like, it was the, it was first, the first year, year of year. it. So yeah. people were just learning about it. But it was it was a lot of fun. It was a, it's a really small convention, but it was, it there was, was cool. a lot of people. Are there for private wanking so rooms? Small? Yeah. Huh? Wait, what? The private rooms, the massive They're called bathrooms. Well, I mean, yeah, that aside. but No, there weren't private rooms, but. They did have VR setups, and you'd have an audience watch you play a VR game of you pleasuring a woman. Yeah, it was real weird. <laughs> it was, like, funny, and then some until part, it wasn't. And, until it wasn't funny, and I was like, ugh. Okay, so, so you guys went together, I'm assuming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Couple of our other uh, friends. Like a, yeah, four of our friends. Went. Was yeah. it like a like a spa where the guys go on one entrance and women go to the other entrance? So it was kind of like <laughs> what <"That's> women? Weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, Jordan? Don't look at me. Yeah. <laughs> Don't look at me. No, no. They had uh, I'm trying to please my wife over here. <laughs> I know. What? <laughs> Clutching my pillow. <laughs> They had like one of those little meeting rooms and it was set up with like maybe three TVs. Yes, it was three TVs. Yeah, three, three TVs setups. and then they got the VR stuff. They had two then, Oculus Rifts and one uh, HTC Vive. Yeah, Vive. there you go. And then we see their screen or what they're looking at. And then we see that we like, they're facing us as well. So we're like watching Ew, I don't them. I them facing me. Yeah. And <laughs> it was, like I said, it was funny. I guess it's like and a then it club. didn't get funny. Because then it was just like, what? What object in the room can we use? And I was like, oh, oh yeah. that's a trash for, for, can. For, for, for Don't the be an asshole. For the record, for the record, I only used my body. I didn't use any any objects. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Jordan, while he was doing it, was like, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. <laughs> I was trying to get And he was trying to touch her hair. We're trying to get consent here. And it didn't here. work. 
She was speaking Japanese. I don't understand. It was very silly yeah, because if you were like, doing it right, it would be like, oh my God, something's happening. And then it would just be like all fucking bubbly and just like a big, like just glaring hearts. pink heart. And I was like, wow. Sukoi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She did moaning, but it was like Utterly it was it was also yeah. really silly. Yeah, no. I'm bummed I missed it. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, though, they were saying um, other people were not so kind. Yo, yo, yeah. and definitely. were like. Apparently, the uh, the environment is way too interactive, and you can just like grab like the fucking lamp and just like hit her with it or whatever. Yep. <laughs> yeah, or like a trash can bin, like like a little like, like wh- a small. Why are these things accessible? Yeah. Who what, programmed these things to be interactive? He <laughs> picked it up and was just like putting it on her and i was like yeah you're weird <laughs> and this you're is not in town? fun uh, uh, we it was at the long beach in, yeah no not, not long beach it was in oh, okay. i the, can't think of the year orange county not orange Ca- burbank 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 the, oh. the, the burbank marriott <laughs> that is the burbank cr- marriott there yeah. you go that yeah. is crazy yeah. yeah the more you know man yeah i, I believe it's in november i want to say yeah yeah I was like, that's right. That's ridiculous. It's like, yeah, it's like October, calendar. November. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get your tickets, hentaicon.com. Yeah. I'm not going to add this to my It is thing. a small convention, but it was fine. I mean, yeah, I'm sure if you yeah. search hentaicon it's, Burbank, it'll pop up. It's an experience at the least. Yeah. yeah. Once yeah. they start getting, when they start getting to that area, I'm sure I'll get. Yeah. So it's yeah. Uh, November 1st to uh, November 3rd at the Marriott Burbank Airport. We won't be here. Wait, no, that's November. We have a while. Uh, yeah, well, a week later, oh. I'm in Orlando. <laughs> oh no, I mean, I'm in NXT show or something. Oh, I'm going to EDC Orlando. Oh, even better. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to her. Yeah. Big. yeah. Are you Are you into uh, EDM? Um, I, I play at my weddings. You know, I DJ weddings. Sure. Right? Yeah. So like, but I can't say. All I'm right. A... So you you're aware of what the kids are into these days? A little bit. Uh, they love that marshmallow. He sure is nice. <laughs> He mm-hmm. sure is great. Uh, no, but I can't imagine uh, going to a three-day festival. I'd be like now? so dehydrated. Marshmallow? Wait, marshmallow. He's a, he's a DJ. He yeah, wears a, a giant uh, yeah, white big... marshmallow head. Yeah. So, yeah. So, he's what? like the more like he's like the guy that was like underground for a while and became zero pop over the last past two years. So like he's like the guy. He's like the Calvin Harris of 2019. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know who Calvin Harris is. He, he used to have a different DJ name, which I think was like dot com or something. But then he didn't blow up, and then he. Put donned, a mask on. He donned the, no the marshmallow about persona. No until he put on the mask. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. then he, he blew up from there. He always just wears all white because he's a marshmallow. So, so Flobo, what mask do you wear when you DJ? <laughs> oh, I DJ at weddings, so nothing. I, I shave. That's what I do. Uh, just, comes in and looks like Sub-Zero. Yeah, exactly. You guys what? ready to get married? Please welcome Mr. and Mrs. Smith. No, uh, no I, I do these things. And I think now people, because then Marshmallow blew up to the pop mainstream. People were asking okay. for his songs because yeah. he has like, what we, would, we would call the Kygo mix. That, like that uh, light, <laughs> bouncy EDM, pop EDM yeah. now mm-hmm. stuff too, like happier, you know? Mm-hmm. So people ask for that now at weddings and I, I play it. I'm like, cool. But like a year ago, no one asked for Marshmallow. Yeah. A year and a half ago, it was like, God, you Kelvin know, Harris or you that have head. I feel like I just or... got five years older. Have yeah. you seen that ever? No. And that's the worst oh. part about DJing is that like the things that you are like bona fide hits like this month yeah. will be like, oh, you're the guy playing the old crappy songs yeah. next yeah. month. Yeah. You got to be like, yeah. you got to be on the, you got to be on the cutting edge. Yeah, for sure. You, you got to have that, that Spotify weekly thing where it's like, oh, the new drops today. Yeah. yeah. And the <laughs> yeah. thing is, I, when I, when I had the money, I would do like the X, Sirius XM. Yeah, the yeah. pop station and a Pitbull globalization station will throw a new mix of the new songs all the time. Yeah. So you can like Suzanne it or sound on it. Mm-hmm. But I go in there after a month and listen to like, like Kiss FM. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> Sorry, I can play Uptown Funk. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but that's how it is, man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. But yeah, man, Marshmallow. He's the man. I, I guess. How many DJs are fucking wearing masks? Uh, a lot of them. A, a, Dead Mouse. A lot of them. Dead Mouse, Dead Mouse. Dead Mouse is the originator White of the funded. big He's old. He's big head. With yeah. The yeah. I, I, I'm well, Daft Punk did before them. Yeah, 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 yeah Daft yeah. Punk. Would, would predate Dead Mouse. Yes, Dead true. Mouse yeah. was like the most, like the more prolific, like, but you know him more of like his... Sure. Thing. And then yeah. Marshmallow does it too. White pen adopt dabbles in it sometimes. Uh, you just making up shit now? Yeah, I'm totally making stuff up. No, it's a white panda. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him play live at the Palms uh, in, L- in Vegas. He wasn't right. good, but yeah. I saw him live. Uh, He's kind of overrated. Suck it, white panda. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, take that. Sorry. Hot take, hot take, hot take. Yeah, it's just, you know. it's okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> 
Yeah, I got eight jobs, bro. It's it's cool. That's, that's what you got to do, man. Yeah, man. It's a creeping way of life. That's You'll be it. on that grind. Yeah, yeah man. Fuck it, eh? yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. So uh, aside from um, uh, greeting the, the, the bride and groom or the... The groom, and groom, the bride and bride, whatever. Groom, groom. <laughs> um, but what else? Uh, what else are you doing? Uh, so yeah, if it's not stand up and I'm not DJing weddings, I officiate weddings, and then I also host uh, on After Buzz TV a lot of after shows. They do like after shows for everything. So the shows I'm assigned to are, are Monday Night Raw, uh, Wednesday Night NXT, and then Tuesday nights Bring the Funny, where basically I do like an after show for it, like like, like the Talking Dead. But yeah, we yeah. These shows too, and then mm. um, I also do uh, you know you know like. I MC things like auctions and that kind of thing. So, as my my dream is to to, to make money being myself. Yeah, and that's yeah. the thing. I'll do whatever I can, but uh, and during the day, I like I'll do like social media for small small businesses too. Right on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, gotta get that money somehow. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah, the day job flow. <laughs> uh, I hear you can sell your bathwater. What? Yeah. In little cups? Little well, cups. I can tell you some hentai chicks were in it. Yeah, Thirsty uh, Gamer Boys love it. <laughs> uh, my last day job. You're not gonna believe this. I, I sold Nigerian hand sanitizer. So that was that was interesting. Door to door. So I people will go to the store and uh would say, Hey man, you know Purell uh is, isn't cutting it for you, right? Yeah. Uh, how about this other brand of hand sanitizer that's the exact same thing? <laughs> it's just alcohol, water, vitamin E and fragrance. Yeah. But this one benefits Nigerians. That was my job for like yeah. six months. Um and I realized the company I worked for was sketchy. Yeah, go figure. Yeah, it was headed uh, by a Nigerian prince. Yeah, a Nigerian <laughs> prince. Uh, found in the Cayman Islands, you know, uh, and I was running for public office. So I had yeah, to quit yeah. because I was running for public oh, office right, and I yes. won. They're like, well, what do you work for? Oh, uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> so I had to quit. Ask so many questions. <laughs> Get out of here. Ooh, you know? So. That's right. You ran for um, neighborhood council. Yeah. Yeah. Under the, the hashtag voice in the hood. Boys in the hood, what? So that's a good hashtag. Yeah, I think it works out, man. It was a business job at my neighborhood council. I ran because, you know, everyone, after 2016, everyone was kind of like, man, this is so lame, and we're going to take back our neighborhoods one at a time. And I was like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Yeah. I submitted it. They were like, hey, do you have any, do you have any proof? And I was like, here's my license. You're in. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I got a campaign guess, for real. I guess that's all we got to do. Today. Yeah, man. Uh, okay, yeah. we're in it. And it was cool going to the businesses, being like, hey, man, I want to be a rep. And it was a mm-hmm. cool idea. And I gave out T-shirts and stuff. Yeah. Didn't win. Came and did last. But <laughs> <laughs> it was a fun experience. Well, first you know? in our hearts. Yeah. yeah. It was the first time I ever voted in life. I voted for wow. me. <laughs> so it all worked out in the end. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Um, how'd you get hooked up with the after buzz stuff? Well, now it's kind of like a secret cabal. You have to you have to know someone in it to write your recommendation. Yeah, uh-huh. uh, and I knew a guy named Kelly where we DJ together, and he was like, "Hey man, I'll put you on." But uh, after buzz is is it's a cool gig, you know. It's mm-hmm. up, it, they don't pay you, and then at the same time let you promote your own stuff. Yeah, uh-huh. uh, and so you, you get do the that little, exposure. You get that exposure. Yeah. There. <laughs> yeah, that was the thing. I was a comedian that that wasn't getting booked not because yeah. i wasn't funny is because a it's all business a comedy yeah. club promoter is like they what's your you. what's your following i can't yeah. buy in so yeah the monday night raw at the show uh gets between two thousand and seven thousand views a week wow yeah. and that's that's way more than zero yeah and no one's yeah. finding me otherwise so and, and i love wrestling so I, I was a lifelong wrestling fan and and I, I did the class and i tried to put a petition for raw and then they gave me nxt too so between those I was able to go out there and be yourself and say hey, at the end hey man Follow me at flobito.com, please. You know? yeah. <laughs> Come see me live, please. You know? yeah, like, honestly, I'd never heard of it until you started posting stuff about it. Uh, and now I feel like it's starting to pop up tangentially without being attached to you. Oh, it yeah. seems like something that's kind of like starting to build its its audience up. A lot of people who have done it uh, have gone, gone good things. Especially in WWE, they sign people directly from After Buzz. Kathy right Kelly, uh, Selena, Selena Vega. Uh, Sonya Deville mm-hmm. um, all the people were all after oh, those right people on. but then at the same time if you find an obscure show yeah. that, not people, that there's not a lot of after show content for yeah. it, you get a lot of reviews like I was on American Gods this spring and American yeah. Gods got 8,000 views a week because there's no one putting that work yeah. that they yeah. are with Game of Thrones you know yeah. and so everyone if, got a Game of Thrones everyone ever, but yeah. no one cares about it, no one cares quote unquote sure. about yeah, American yeah, yeah. Gods but you look on YouTube, we come up first. So yeah. Yeah. they have the platform. It's their streaming network. It's it's their promotion. I can do clips from my Instagram or whatever. But at the same time, I get to do an hour of work. I go mm-hmm. home and then I get all these views. People checking me out and yeah. following me yeah. on social. So it doesn't pay, but it pays. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So in, in that secondary currency that anybody who wants to make entertainment 
also needs. Oh, yeah. Because the hardest thing about making content, because I'm sure you, everyone here has ideas for days. Sure. Oh, is yeah. that yeah. If I make it, who the hell's going to watch it? Yeah. yeah. But then yeah. you have this engine that just like pumps it out. And if people just loves the brand, you're like, yeah. cool, you know? You find you can do things for yourself later on. So you're going to try and get up on the sign-up sheet for AEW? Uh, okay, so AEW is weird only because after Buzz and Marina Menounos, who co-founded it, they're, okay. they're like this. She <gasps> gets Marina Menounos. Yeah, 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 from so, the twenty. So, yeah, so no, that's uh, that's Kane's. Uh, Kane has the biggest crush on her from the Kane show. <laughs> wow, <laughs> Kane show, pay us, give it up. <laughs> so her husband founded After Buzz, uh, oh. and they have an agreement with WWE. So she goes and does all like. Ah. Uh, the raw recaps and stuff. So they're they're discussing whether or not they should do AEW because on one hand, hey, it's wrestling, it's a new yeah. brand, why not? Yeah. But on the other hand, it's WWE. Oh, you guys are real in bed with them. Yeah. But yeah. I really feel like it would benefit anyone to do that 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 show because yeah. it looks like it's gonna be big. For sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you been watching it? I watched the, the, like the Fighter Fest and, and uh, Fight for I, the Fallen. I did not see Fighter Fest. I saw Double Nothing and Fight for the Fallen. Mm-hmm. Um, I love it. I think it's cool. Um, People are already giving it like, oh, it's the new brand. Uh, I would say hesitate on that. I know you guys are big wrestling fans. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, it's great, but you don't know how good you're going to be until you have to do week in and week out. Yeah. Storylines. Because the main event, the main event is, is awesome. Cody and, and the Young Bucks yeah. and, and, and Moxley. But then like their undercard is like, okay, uh, yeah. I like, like Janela. He's cool. I some, li- some dudes maybe you heard of if you kind of pay attention to any kind of independent. Yeah. Like that big, you're, no one's going to steal WWE shine. Like no, n- you, it's never going to happen. They're, they'll have to fall apart for anyone to ever take that spot. Sure. Yeah. Uh, but if you're only watching WWE, like Cody's kind of familiar. Oh, that's Stardust. Uh, yeah. I mean, if Dustin, <laughs> yeah, if if Dustin Rhodes keeps wrestling, like, oh, that kind of looks like Gold Dust, right? Um, and like, if you got Moxley, like, there are a couple people, but like, yeah, who the fuck knows who Janelle is if you're not in it? Yeah. And I mean, Hot Topic will tell you who the Young Bucks are. But like, who who knows Hangman Page? Sure, you know, and that's it. That's, there's there's hardcore wrestling fans. There's casual wrestling fans, and there are people who tune into Monday Night Raw because it's something to watch. Yeah, and I think WWE serves those people. Oh, I thought you were raising your hand. I was like, yeah. Yeah. We, watch, yeah. we watch at Chains. Yeah. That's yeah. the only time well, I see wrestling. Yeah, exactly. And, <laughs> like, and AEW has to find a way to get those people who are just like, I watch something on TV to mm-hmm. come because they bring their family, they bring they buy the pretzels and yeah, the yeah. t shirts and mugs at the, at the yeah. events. But yeah. I, I've, I, I watched Fighter Fest, I watched uh, Fight for the Fallen, and most every match was real great. But like you said, like the test is when you're doing it every week. Yeah. Um, and like I'm seeing improvement between the two, uh, like production wise. I think it's just cool, honestly, having something else that from afar looks maybe on uh, at the level of WWE. Like sure. oh, other wrestling on television that's not WWE. I'm in. Yeah, I'm into it. Yeah. You know, they've, they've got the underdog uh, vibe going for them. Yeah, I mean, they do that, but they kind of like are saying, we're the underdog, which you should not do. If you're an underdog, let everyone say you're an underdog. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I remember, <laughs> I'll go back to when I was a kid with the original XFL. Yeah. Like, we're going to take down the NFL, guys. It is like, no one cares. Like, what yeah. are you doing? Okay, bitch. <laughs> yeah. The Memphis Maniac versus the Birmingham Bolts. Whatever. <laughs> he hate me. Were those, were those real? Names? Yeah, yeah. The Memphis Maniacs and the Birmingham Bolts and the and the Las Vegas Outlaws and yeah. the That's New York Hitmen. You know? Wow. You yeah. remember a lot of that. Yeah, because I was in. I bought the football. Like, yeah, this is going right. to be the new the future of football. And no one cared. No yeah. one cared. No. Yeah. <laughs> the New York Hitmen were my home team. But... <laughs> Uh, see in the uh, XFL, the football had spikes in it. That's how extreme it was. Yeah, it's like a Mortal Kombat. One. Yeah, because <laughs> XFL stands for Extreme Football League. <laughs> so the X and the NFL stands for No Football League, No Fun Football League. <laughs> That's what he said. Yeah, <laughs> there was no real difference in gameplay, right? Um, the they had a indoors. they had a scramble. It was outdoors. They had a scramble yeah. mm-hmm. instead of a, a coin flip. And uh, they had a lot of sweeping cameras that, that now the NFL has adopted. Yeah. That kind of thing. And they, they and the players got paid if they won, which is unlike the NFL. You get your contracts in the NFL. So there's a lot of things in there that encourage play. But mm-hmm. the problem is, is that when it comes to football, yeah. there is a, a really thick line between the elite and yeah. the sub-elite. So yeah. everyone who's not in the NFL are like, 
Nah. <laughs> Guys who, who ate their cheeseburgers from Carl's Jr. every couple of days, and, and it, the gameplay wasn't good enough. But you already took the time to say, we're taking on the NFL. Then when you tune in yeah. and see the second-rate product, it's like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> like that, that is something uh, AEW is doing. Like They keep kind of jabbing at WWE. Right. Um, like their, uh, what was their first? Oh, Double or Nothing. Uh, Cody Straight comes out with a sledgehammer and smashes this uh, throne with tr- uh, with an iron cross, yeah, a la Triple H, yeah. and it's rigged to fall apart when he hits it. Like some smoke comes up and yeah. shit. Yeah. I'm like, mm, yeah. guys, this. Is- <laughs> yeah, he's at Starcast saying your women's champion is likes hugs and she's lame. You're like. You're going after Bailey? Like, whoa, come on. Whoa. <laughs> you can't do that. She's wrestling's little me. sister? I know. It's like, <laughs> you can't be mad at Bailey. Cody Rhodes. <laughs> okay. uh, Fuck off. But yeah, hopefully it works out because, you know, if you're a wrestling fan, you want wrestlers to find a place that it can work mm-hmm. and, and, and make a good wage. But you're like, now I feel like I have to choose. Right yeah. before it could have been like I'm not gonna watch everything. Now it's like, am I cheating on WWE if I watch this on Tuesday? Am I yeah. cheating on SmackDown if I watch this on Tuesday? Well, I fuck it. I mean, I watch it all on Hulu, so they're not getting my live count. It's, it, it's, it's yeah. like watching. You have to choose between Raw or Nitro. <laughs> right. I mean, it, that's that's what everyone's kind of invoking. Like, oh, we're gonna have like Monday Night Wars again. Yeah. I'm like, well, it's gonna be Wednesday, but you know, like everyone's gonna have their day. Uh, so back when WCW was a thing, they, so WCW, they, <laughs> WCW was another wrestling uh, uh, federation that was not the World Wrestling Federation, which is what WWE oh, yeah, 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 now yeah. is. No, I remember that. <laughs> so they had uh, was it Monday Night Nitro? Nitro, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Then Thursday Night Thunder, yeah, Thursday Night Thunder, uh, which went up against Monday Night Raw and SmackDown. Uh, but they're all the. This- they're now nope. the same thing. Yeah, basically. I mean, WWE just bought all those dudes eventually. For $4 million. Yeah. I mean, really, that's like chump change. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? Oh, I see um, what you're saying. But yeah. yeah, like, I mean, Hogan was WWF and made a big butt. Then he went over there. If you ever see, like, Hogan in black with, like, a real shit, like, Hollywood black, Hulk Hogan. Yeah, if you ever, like, with a mm. black beard, some real mm-hmm. bullshit. Yeah. Um, that's, like, his WCW days. Yeah. Um, oh, see? Uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of someone of, like, who. like, just. I mean, and that's Merch yeah. Unless me. you were, unless you were like in it at the time, yeah. Uh, and especially since you were like five at the time, uh, it would it would be tough for <laughs> like to like six take it apart or seven. Actually, you're no, not I helping. was more than that. It depends how old you are now. All I know is I knew that I'm Razor very... Ramon was Scott. Yeah, you'd be six or seven for sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, was it really that long ago? Yeah, yeah so like I was talking about ninety-eight, ninety-nine. Yeah. Mm, the okay. late the later nineties was was all that. Like elementary, then, at least for me, <laughs> elementary, middle school, mm, elementary. Okay, you're young. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I ain't gonna say it like that, man. Shoot. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, I'm so youthful. <laughs> how was American Gods? It's good. It's yeah. really good. Uh, I I actually got hired the day before s- the second season, so I had to binge the first season um, <laughs> because oh. the fan. Because again, we're talking about fandoms, right? It's yeah. a show that's so obscure that those who watch are all about it. Sure, yeah, yeah. You can't fake the fun. Like, you can. F- I, I hate to say it, but if you got if I was on Supernatural, fifteen yeah. seasons, twenty yeah. episodes a season, you can be like. And Drew dies, or Dean dies. But he's back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but, but like, <laughs> Drew, yeah, Drew dies. Uh, and but, Sean. Sean and Drew die. <laughs> Sean and Drew. <laughs> Sam and Dean. Whatever. Uh, but American Gods was very into it. But the second season, really, I mean, they stretched things out. It could have been, they could have finished a lot of things in season two. Yeah. Trying yeah. season three. But I like the fact that they really took time to talk about, like, what religion means to the disenfranchised the, yeah. the minorities yeah. the women because that's what it is like that's where religion really thrives that empowers the people yeah. with our voices so there's the old gods um you guys are familiar uh like the old gods like 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 um odin and and and, the, and mama g was like you guys uh, watch any of the and all that stuff. no but i'm i'm okay yeah familiar with so, it, so there's yeah. a war brewing between like a set of old gods like yeah. we're talking about like odin who was the father of thor yeah. and like mama g who was kali ma and like the the hindu script and yeah. that kind of thing and there's new gods like technology town world and like they're trying to start a media and yeah. there's like a, like a war and that's brewing and like concepts but people still worship them. yeah, yeah. right yeah. if you not if there's no more worshipers of you you kind of fade away but in season two yeah. they go into like small things like columbia for example columbia yeah. was the previous personification of america before liberty yeah and and it was kind of cool because in this episode she basically signed herself up to be the face of the war effort for world war one two one that way to keep herself relevant, mm-hmm. but then yeah. she ends up fades away and liberty becomes a symbol of America, for example. Yeah, yeah. So to yeah. me, it's really cool to pull from that and, and how there's African gods and how uh, 
uh, black people have a different experience here. And even though it's a do Nancy black people, a, a Nazi killed it. Even uh, though they do it through the lens of black people, but it's more about minorities and how yeah. we're underrepresented and that uh, kind of thing. So yeah. I, I recommend it. Eight episodes a season. It's pretty it, easy. Yeah, it's, it's great. I haven't watched season two because season like it's a dense ass show yeah like there is shit going on you will be confused for a little for a little while but like it's so fresh it, it's kind of nice that it's not holding your hand yeah it's conceptually way out there from anything that you're watching uh otherwise Neil Gaiman by that's, the way yeah, it's yeah. Neil Gaiman that's like Gaiman. anything he does um, yeah. <laughs> but I think like the perfect example of what you're saying is there's an episode uh there's an Easter episode oh, where yeah. there are like 50 different Jesuses until like you realize like oh yeah everyone's like every even small pocket culture has a different version a different of how version, they yeah. see Jesus yeah. Yeah. yeah and it kind of shows like okay well if you just get enough people believing in one image then that thus creates a new god yeah sure. okay and then how Easter used to belong to another god but then you know yeah. there's, the, there's like a transfer on what we think Easter is you know between this one this pagan god and Jesus yeah. I don't know, it's pretty cool. And that was really like the first time at After Buzz where it was like, okay, this is real. I can't yeah. make right things on. up. I can't oh, pretend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't fake the funk. Because of the wrestling, I watch everything, but I'm on my panel sometimes. Sometimes they run late and they, they skim a match. You can get away with that and be like, yeah. I love Cesaro and be done with it. But like, yeah. you can't be like, oh, yeah, yeah that was pretty cool what happened today. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> you, you right got to be able to, re- you got to talk about it. Right. And yeah. at length, I mean, after the show is 45 minutes. So, yeah. Right on. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. Um, let's see here. So you've, we've got uh, a little less than 30 more minutes with you. Uh, so you went to Comic-Con today. You had your panel. Yeah. The uh, Strange Bedfellows panel, the relationship between comic and pro wrestling. Uh, which okay. you've been doing for a while. Yeah, I've been doing it for a while in different iterations. I mean, today, this day was more of an after bus thing. Yeah. But I, I was a comic book writer. I wrote a superhero book called Silver Streak that like 30 people bought. And I did a... Uh, Indiana Jones type graphic novel called Legacy, which eight people bought, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but it was kind of fun to be able to to talk about what, how wrestling is basically comic for us and, and the characters we yeah. love and all that stuff like that. Yeah, and yeah. That was saying in Comic Con. So I did the one day trip kind of thing. Yeah. Um. So what else did you see? Cause let's because this will come. This will come out. This coming Monday, cool. uh, our proper Comic Con stuff isn't going to come out for like another fucking week after that. <laughs> Are you guys going to? Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm, nice. I'm going tomorrow through Sunday. So I'm going to be there Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm going to be, I'm going to get uh, inside and outside. Are, are, are they invited? Uh, I'll be there tomorrow. Together? I, or are you going to be separate? I'm just, I'm just going to be outside for Friday yeah. and Saturday and then inside on Sunday. There we go. <laughs> oh, you yeah, the Sunday badge? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we're, we're, we're definitely palling around. Um, but like I, my Facebook has been exploding. Dang. Uh, with like, oh, you know, here's all the things you were interested in, which like, this seems fun. This seems fun. This seems fun. But now I regret when I get like 20 messages like that thing you're interested in is starting in an hour, starting yeah. in a half hour. Someone posted in this. Um, but uh, I've already got like that real like itch. I'm like, oh, I, I want to do so many of the things that I've already seen. But what have you done? I want, oh, I'm yeah. It was, about what it you was kind of a whirlwind thing. I got in about, about nine. I walked the floor, got some exclusives. Speaking of American Gods, uh, they're selling one of the characters is called Matt Sweeney, yeah, and he's basically a leprechaun. Oh. Uh, Dark Horse is selling an exclusive coin, oh, uh, right on. The, the actual Matt Sweeney coin. So I picked that up because uh, it's my lucky coin, did yeah. wife. Uh, <laughs> so I got one of those, and my panel was at one. I went downtown, and uh, there's this uh, this whiskey brand. I think it's called Whiskey Pig. They're doing like a, yeah, a yeah. tasting around town. Yeah. Where if you go to each bar stop they get a, a pin for that oh, and that cool. sounds pretty cool there you go jordan yeah, yeah that, whiskey's awesome. my thing yeah yeah it's going on all weekend <laughs> yeah. and i was doing that and that was, that was a cool deal yeah. so like i didn't get too crazy you know i got some yeah. exclusive for the friends but i mean i didn't i didn't sit in panels all day because i realized yeah. I, i've been going to comic con for the past eight years or so yeah um movies tvs always get leaked online yeah yep. like don't waste yep. your time on that yep. okay, the, yeah. the yeah. technical stuff like drawing and stuff You'll find a lot more value at the smaller cons. Yeah, the people yeah. are really more about it. So, like, if you're doing the panel, it has to be someone you really care about. Like, yes, yeah. all, definitely. Like the black panel when when Wayne Brady was hosting, I went. Hey, yeah, Wayne yeah. Brady, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I try not to avoid that so much. It's basically walk the floor, get kind of the vibe, take some photographs, see yeah, some yeah. cosplay. Like if you're gonna if you're gonna do a panel if for a one hour panel, book three total hours, like one one for the panel and two hours for waiting in line. 
Like that's what Comic Con is at this yeah. point. Yeah. Um. I I haven't done a panel in fucking years and years because it just got to that point, and there's so much other other stuff to do. Yeah. Like like you said, like everything's going to be online right after. Uh, like if you want to like an, a more intimate experience, that's what like why I go to WonderCon. I love. Agreed. Like yeah. I. I love both cons for completely separate reasons. Okay, yes. go like, on. <laughs> WonderCon is is the con that I feel like I can really uh, like talk to creators uh, and like have a more um, intimate experience with. Yeah. And Comic Con is the flashy convention oh, where yeah. all the crazy stuff happens yep. and and you know more kind of walk through experiences. Yeah, sure. I don't get to stop, but there's the thing. Uh, and you know, and all the downtown stuff is super cool. The yeah. interactive stuff is super cool. Yeah. Um, so like they, I appreciate them both. I do not consider them to be like almost even comparable to each other. Yeah. They both sell comic books, but yeah. I mean, yeah. that's yeah. kind of the end of the, uh, the comparison. Yeah. Sure. Um, <laughs> and no but, one buys them relatively speaking. <laughs> yeah. But that said, I am on the fence. I may camp out Saturday night to go Whoa. to the Supernatural panel yeah. Sunday yeah. since it's their the, last the final one. Season, yeah. Everyone was doing that, it seems. It yeah. seems like it was a very popular thing. And, well, the fuckers had Kansas two years ago. Kansas played Hall H <laughs> for the, like, the one fucking song. So I'm like, wow. They got to go big. Like, yeah. they, they got to do like a crazy like thing to go out on. Like, at, the, at this point, it's a lap, uh, a victory lap before your show ends, yeah. thanking the fans. Something something crazy's got to happen. I feel like I've been watching that show for so long. I I am a hundred percent a fan, but it's always been like, oh, I don't want to camp out. That seems yeah. bananas. But I, I got have friends you ever done it before. It? No, I then haven't. now's a chance. Yeah. If it's yeah. a show you care about, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. You have to do it at least once. Yeah, You're a Holly Survivor. Uh, like, <laughs> I mean, as much as I love like all the MCU, I don't think I'd camp out for that. Nope, I but, don't either. Yeah, but like this, this the 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 fandom. I've got friends who are like ride or die fans uh, yeah. and they've been camping out they were saying for like 10 years in a row they've been camping out for this it is now a part of the thing so at least i got some veterans with me yeah um but i i just i was bummed when i heard Kansas played because i'm like not that i'm a Kansas fan but i'm like holy shit what a unique experience in a comic-con yeah. to have like a real band play yeah uh if i had known then i I very possibly could have done it. Yeah. If I had known that they were going to give away lightsabers and the whole Star Wars panel was going to go over and watch the, and they were going to do the symphony stuff, I would have done it. Yeah. This time I feel like it could be that level. Yeah. You know, because they keep all this stuff super secret. Um, so if you missed it, well, you just didn't take the chance. God himself will yeah. show up. <laughs> right. Now I feel like maybe... Just by sheer fact of it being the end, them, them going big before, it's enough of a safe bet that it's going to be worth all of the sitting outside on the fucking cement and just waiting out, barely sleeping, and going in to, you know, do a panel, which I just, I haven't done. Yeah. Um, I I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm on the fence. I can be convinced. Um. But it's it's gonna take something. I I, I don't know because fuck, I hate camping yeah. <laughs> in all forms. Say, we have something you could use. Yeah, you use our puff pack. You could use our puff pack. What's a? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Is that like an edible? What the hell is that? <laughs> what's, a, what's a puff pack? It sounds like. I it. mean, <laughs> also puff packs is a is a like a a, a, a box a loot box thing of weeds products. Is really? Oh, yeah. There's also yeah. puff packs, oh, which shit. is yeah. I was gonna think it's like a puffed rice edible. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Cool. So yeah, sprinkle a little on top. Uh, no, you know, you ever see? Um, I only saw it like for infomercials, but it's like a giant like it nylon. Like, it's an inflatable sack. couch. Yeah. yeah, that you like wave around and it catches air, and then you like you wrap it up or something. And you could just lounge on it. Oh, but it, you let the air out and it squeezes down to like a, a small bag. Oh. So they like, got pictures here. They they bought a couple. We're looking at pictures here. That and then is. It goes that, and you can just lay in it. Okay, sounds cool. Yeah, it's actually very. Uh, that'd be that'd be way better than like a foldable chair you got to carry around. Yeah, or... yeah, because when you're done, all you have to do is just. Roll yeah, you just, just got to roll it up, and yeah. you're good. Take the air out, roll it up, and mm-hmm. then it. 
It kind of just clips back. That probably make me it. make me real popular in line. I have a comfy seat. Yeah. That too. So you doing it? I. Oh, oh come so on! Yeah. Come on! Because <laughs> you know, because I was also thinking, mm. there's nothing else I can think of that I would do like this for. See? Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> like I would really have to have some inside information on something of like, oh yeah, yeah, like they're gonna give away a thing. You're gonna have a thing to walk away with. Then you know maybe, but. Yeah. They're like, there's no other show I can think of. It's like, uh, well, are, are, are they are they launching another Nintendo Wii for the first time? Then I'll camp out for that. I mean, right. if they're gonna give me a Wii, <laughs> like so I, I did camp Switch. out for the Nintendo Wii. Did Wiis. you hear the switches they gave out on the Southwest flight? Yeah, there was a flight from Southwest Airlines that landed in San Diego. Like, oh, by the way, everyone, everyone gets a switch with Mario Maker too. Yeah, they got vouchers. Fuck. Them. It, it said, here here you go. It was a voucher to get a, a, then, a Nintendo Switch and Mario Maker 2. And, and, wow. and everyone on the plane got one. Yeah. Fuck. You them. Think we get it was just a flying. little slip. That's all it was. And it said, um, you can claim it once you land. That's like 80, 100 Wii. That uh, is switches. like That's, 200. You would think people, depending on the, 300, it's 300 a pop. Yeah. 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 Holy fuck. Jeez. And this was like, like this, this just happened. So this is yeah. like yeah, a like Comic Con related. It happened like on Wednesday or something? Yeah, yesterday. Fucker. Yeah, yesterday. <laughs> Literally yeah, yesterday. That's, 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 probably most people come in here for Comic Con. They all got yeah, fucking all got switches. switches. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and like the the like the one business dude who's just like, I just got some shit. Uh, I don't know what's happening here. Yeah. What's a switch? Yeah. <laughs> hey son, happy birthday. <laughs> yeah. The only hey, switch Dad. I know of is the one my mom beat me with when I was a child. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> damn. <laughs> True, but damn. Fucking A. <laughs> Damn it. Every black kid <laughs> has met oh. a Switch before. Give me a Switch. <laughs> All right, Ma. You, you, you got to go. go outside and get it. You got to pick yeah. it yourself. <laughs> no knots. <laughs> um, that's a weird thing to have to transition off of. <laughs> yeah, I really tried. Yeah. I was trying to go with Switch, and I was like, speaking of Switches... Amazon Prime Day was uh, happened, and because of switches, uh, oh, yeah, let's, let's talk let's more try. about the civil unrest of, yeah. of the world. <laughs> no, how about this? How about this? So you brought back these fucking Snowpiercer, yeah, uh, uh, power bars. Yeah. Now we're not going to eat them; we'll save it for later. Okay, um, put them in the fridge. Yeah, put them in the fridge. I don't know why, but when um, I got it, yeah. these shits are made it of was bugs, already so. cold. <laughs> So just keep it in the Wait, fridge. Wait, what are you saving it for? Like a special occasion? Well, no. Well, next week when we do the, the Bernie bots, like, let's just keep going. Any fucking cricket protein bars. Oh, my God. They're peanut butter and jelly flavored? Yeah. I mean, that gives me hope. I want to eat this so bad. Do it. Do it. I mean, it. we only need one for the episode. We do. Do it. <laughs> I mean, I won't do it personally, but I would, I would <laughs> yeah. totally watch you Apparently, guys Apparently, uh, crickets and crustaceans are very close to each other. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. weird. Crickets, the shrimp of the grass. <laughs> <laughs> or now shrimp, the cricket of the sea. <laughs> yeah, you're right. All right, I guess. <laughs> the cricket of the sea. I guess that works better. <laughs> yeah, at their um, at their booth, it was a very small line, probably yeah. no bigger than this room. Did you get it today or yesterday? I got it last night. All right, yeah. yeah. So you're going to meet, so, that's the smallest lines you're going to see. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying, because like, I was walking past the booth and I was like, "Oh, Snowpiercer!" And we went around and I was expecting like this super huge fucking line. No, there was girl. maybe twenty people night. in line, <laughs> but it's like really quick too. Mm-hmm. And then um, it just goes around, and then there's like four vending machines with like giant screens, and you put your email address in. Sometimes they'll show a clip, like it's mm-hmm. oh, guy. it wasn't. The same? It wasn't consistent? Well, that's the thing. I I had my phone out to record me doing it, mm-hmm. and that clip didn't show up. All I got <laughs> all I got was, like, the larva and the black goo, Ugh. and then it was just, like, get your rash in below. And I was like, the fuck? <laughs> you sound like, a, hi, yeah. I'm Jeremy Snowpiercer. because no, the fucking guy, he actually had, like, he had... A thing where he actually talked. Yeah, Jeremy Snowpiercer, like the guy who invented the Snowpiercer. Here and he was like, all we have are some rations to last us for, whatever. And then he's just like talking for a little bit. I didn't fucking get that clip. <laughs> but I was, um, so as soon as I put my email in, um, the ration comes down and then you grab it. But short arms, I just started feeling around and I was like, oh, I feel two. And I grabbed it. That's why oh. I got two. Oh, shit. It really should just be one. <laughs> on the come up. Because it's, it's uh, what do you call it? It's one email. Per, yeah, yeah. Per thing. That's why you put in two emails. 
I mean, I if you were on the actual line. snow piercer, they you're had here an recording. extra one in there. Someone didn't grab it. Yeah. So. Oh, they saw crickets. Like, eh, gross. Yeah. Ew, gross so, bugs. We got that. <laughs> If you're on the real snow piercer, people would just be fighting you. Oh yeah, I know. For hoarding two fucking oh, cricket bars, I shame to, on you. Yeah. I try to be very slick about it. The, the, the put your I hand just put one the, over the, the other train. and then quickly put it in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. <laughs> they did get a little okay. They didn't get stingy, but I feel like they got really strict when it came to how much you use your badges. Mm. What? Like okay, example. Uh, I got to the front. Did you go preview night too? Or no? I did not. So okay. So preview night, um, I got there a little after seven, um, got off the trolley, and immediately a giant train just came over. Like, the, the like an piercer? actual legit train train oh, oh, came in front oh. of the uh, yeah. came in front of then uh, you're there, the convention. Then you're stuck there for 20 minutes. So that fucking thing did stay there. Now, what I was told by... Um, Elizabeth from PG last year was when it did stop there, people started to go through the cars to get to the other side safe. because there was no security then. Mm. There was security now. With guns? And then we, were wait- we waited maybe five minutes. People start getting <laughs> pissed off because they're like, we don't have much time for yeah. preview night. We really want to go in. That train will sit there for it like did. It real stayed for a 10 while. minutes or more. So it literally took... The time from us walking to the very front of Gas Lamp all the way to the bridge to cross over to the Hilton to walk back in the same area we was yeah. or we were at so for that like train minutes. just to move a little back for the people to walk through. Yeah. But yeah. that train stayed there for a while. <clears throat> it did. Um, but when I first walked in, I, I walked into the building and where you usually go to get your... Um, to get your bags, mm-hmm. as soon as you walk in, you scan your badge. Sure. Yeah, you what's... maybe walk 10 feet and you scan your badge again. Oh, that's weird. And then as soon as you went past that, they were already had the bags folded up with the booklets and everything. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Yeah. So you can't choose your bag. It was like, whatever. This was like, always been kind of like that. This, was, that. this yeah. was upon walking in. So yeah. that one, no matter who you were, unless you knew where you were supposed to go mm-hmm. beforehand... You just went in with everyone else. Yeah. Now, yeah. I was asking because I was just like, okay, they already gave me a bag, but I was told, since I'm press, to go to press. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, okay, I'm still going to go to press then and see what happens there. So I was just like, hi, I'm from press. And then he was just like, okay, you, you have to go around this area. And he's like, so you have to scan your badge again. So mm-hmm. I scanned my badge again to go through there to get in front of the press booth. And I was just like, hi, I'm here to get my bag. And then she was like, one moment, can you scan your badge right why, here? Why do you have, like, a press bag? No, no, no. Like, press are supposed to go there first. I think that's what it was. Like, specifically, press was supposed to pick up their stuff there. But I went in with everyone. Uh, yeah. So, by default, I was there. Okay. With that being said, I was just like, hi, I'm here to pick up the swag for press. Right? Because originally, mm-hmm. that's where I was supposed to go, but I wasn't told that. We all kind of just got push to one area sure. yeah with that being said she was like can you scan your badge please and i was like sure and there was just this little bot looking thing that you scan your badge on and she goes well it looks like you already claimed one and i was <laughs> like okay and she's like did you claim a bag and i was like yes i did because by default they just gave it to you over there so yeah. i thought like Sorry. so you you kind of just hopped in yeah. the wrong line yeah that's essentially I was, I was concerned when you said that that like the events and stuff oh, yeah, you were going to yeah. be like oh you like you can t- max out on how many things you can tap your badge for. <laughs> Oh yeah no 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 I'm that- sorry sir you you reached the maximum amount of taps There yeah. was a lot anymore. of tapping going on well, that's yeah. why I put it, it on my got, hip It got really crazy cuz it was it like as soon as we walked out as soon as we got in the hallway to go down the stairs yeah. you tapped again mm-hmm. and I was like Wow, there's a lot of <laughs> like they're really you know what? keeping it up. I'm fine with that. I'd rather be safe. <laughs> oh no, nothing's wrong <laughs> with that. It's totally fine. Even even walking over from the stoplight of the Hilton to the front, if you didn't have a badge, you were shoot off. Yeah. Yeah, you can't even get up to like the driveway without yeah. without badges. And then um where where the lines are for people who are camping, that's completely closed off now. Yeah. You know how it used to be like they would have like 
a barrier and yeah. then you can see the people in line, you can't even really see them unless you're actually in front of the convention mm -hmm. and in that safe area, you're all good. From what I was hearing and what a coworker said today, from what she heard on the news, it had something to do with the scooters. They didn't want... That was like a no scooter be, zone, yeah, period. Did, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. no scooters. Yeah, it was in, a no scooter zone down. over there, and then they didn't want... They really closed it off so it was private. No. And I was like, I mean, that's not bad. That's fine. Especially since it's like completely closed off where there's absolutely no cars or anything yeah. going through yeah. there. Yeah, it would make sense to have scooters to, in that area. There used to be like the buses that would go through there and yeah. it just get super fucking packed. They they just closed that off. Mm. It's interesting. All right. So we are uh for the first time in fuck it, maybe over a year, uh we're actually gonna have an under hour and a half podcast. Wow. <laughs> Mr. Flobo's got a uh, got a hard out. He's got important people to meet. Yeah, He's got big plans. A comedy show? Uh not tonight. Not this okay. year. Usually I do that yeah. in tandem. Okay. Uh, Flobo making big moves. Uh so uh medium sized moves. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I mean, it's bigger than this. Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, was, this is a favor to us. <laughs> uh, not at all, man. I'm so glad to be part of the show. Uh, I do listen to it every once in a while, and I'm like, man, these conversations are ridiculous. <laughs> you know? <laughs> all I'm saying is yeah. stuff. you should be on the, on the cover art. I'm just saying, I I'll don't know what's going to happen. One day when if, Leland draws us, if any artist find someone there. else to yeah. draw us. If any artist out there can Anybody. make us new cover art, please do. You know yeah. what? Uh, Sunday, when we're on the floor together. Yeah. Uh, if we can see, if we see someone who's like doing like s live sketches, yeah. Oh, they if the price is right yeah. for if twenty bucks, I think that's a little high for. I don't know. It could be worth it. Yeah. Who knows? Oh. Uh, I, I thought for like a single person. Oh, a single. If it was like sixty, I think like what, like thirty dollars <laughs> would be the most. Probably around there. Yeah, sounds like a Fiverr job. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> But like we could have like a real like cool you know independent artist like draw us up. If we find somebody thirty dollars or less, that'd be cool. They can do our new artwork. Oh, there you go. That'd be fun. If yeah. you don't find anyone like Comic Con, I'll put up a post on Facebook just asking. Sure. Uh, yeah. Hey, uh, draw us. thirty bucks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Flobo, uh, why don't you tell everyone uh, where they can get up on you and uh, <laughs> up on me? Damn. Yeah, get up on it. Well, you know how it is. Uh, yeah. So I'm on Twitter at Flobo Boys. On Instagram, at Flobito and Flobito.com. That's where our, most of my things are happening. You know, check me out. And if they want to, uh, want you to officiate their and DJ their wedding, yeah, same. Yeah, Flobito.com. Wedding's there. there DJ's there. Com stand up comedy was there. I was actually in Tempe last week. They contacted me through Flobito.com. So oh, the, follow me, bro. Follow have, me, bro. Yeah. What's like the weirdest <laughs> show you've been uh, hired to, do, to host? Oh, uh, like a comedy show? No, no. I mean, I, I feel like that's not weird. Like, uh, like along the lines of like a wedding or something. Um, like anybody, I, any weird theme the, weddings or anything? Uh, the weird theme themes. I have, I have two stories. I have a theme story and I have like a, a, a wedding story story. Mm -hmm. uh, the one there was a, a couple that got married. Uh, they were late in life. The bride was turning forty, so and they were Jewish and mm -hmm. they wanted a celebration of life. Because they're in their 40s. I'm like, okay, yeah. cool. Sounds pretty standard. Cool. But I got there and it was like all Mexican sugar skulls and like <laughs> candles. <laughs> You're like, this is not what life is at all. This is the opposite of life. You're not even Mexican. What are you doing? You know, <laughs> some appropriation. Yeah, I know. Totally cultural appropriation. Uh, the most crazy story I had as a DJ, true story, there was a, it's a place called Rancho de Cielo. It's on a, it's on a hilltop in Malibu. Like it's mm -hmm. in like the sticks of Malibu. Um, and uh, it was a toast when I said, hey, does anyone have to say anything to say at the bride and groom? The best man grabs the microphone and goes to the bride and goes, you should have married me. <laughs> this guy <laughs> like, is a jerk. And the worst part about that was is that we're on top of a mountaintop. The buses aren't going to come for another four hours. Oh, my The bride God. is not going to go like drop the, the guy there and like, yeah. date the best man. So he had to sit in it in his awkwardness oh, at the bar by himself for four or five hours. Like, that was my Salty. shot. I was trying to do a romantic Holy movie. And also, fact, isn't right. he too late? Like, the, 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 the priest was already, you know, anybody who objects. Like, you I, missed your window. I blame Hugh Grant movies because they give guys false hope. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. But <laughs> Darn you, Hugh Grant. <laughs> Hugh Grant. <laughs> Holy shit. Um, all right, yeah. So uh, get up on uh, Flobo. Good dude. Super funny. Um and talented in uh, all directions. You. If you want to get up on this podcast, uh, then be sure to Jordan. 
Uh, you can find me. Well, you can find us on uh, most. Yeah. Slow, slowly roll. Sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was following. I was following Flobo over here. Just you know, <laughs> caught me a little bit off guard. But well, thanks, man. Uh, you can find us on social media uh, at uh, LRC Podcast. We're on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And Steph, me? Yeah, you. Okay, you can find my stuff. No, that's, you, you well, can, that's you why can I listen asked to us. you. You can you listen, can to, listen us. to us on Spotify, <laughs> iHeartRadio. Uh, Stitcher, Apple Podcasts, yeah. Libsyn. If you want to download Libsyn. MP3, what was the Google one? Google, Google Play. Play. Google Play. Google Play. Which my coworker searched League of Ridiculousness and, and it sh- Google Play found- showed up. So, so um. you met someone who has it, and we still don't have a link. I don't know how it works. So, well, just, they, she like, just said she looked it, search. I'm sure it will come up first. on the Play Store. Yeah. Well, that's what she said. Yeah, Google Play has been like. A mystery. Yeah. <laughs> like, we can't find it when we look, but other people can find us. Yeah. We're supposed to be there. I find you guys on Spotify, to be honest with you. That's yeah. Where I yeah. Uh, yeah. Spotify is a spot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you can email us. Uh, like, we uh, actually got an email this week. From Anna. Uh, Anna Zoe. Anna. Uh, her, yeah, last her e- yeah, her email and, and the name she signed uh, are Anna two different m- names. M- 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 Starts with the M. <laughs> you're, you're, you're gonna go for it. You're gonna. Mm, you're gonna mispronounce her name. My Donna. Mi, mi, something like that. Hang on, we're looking it up right now. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm say um, Medema. Yeah, Medema. That's that's gonna be my guess. Mi, m- Medema. Mide- m- maybe. Oh. Uh, yeah, she's the first. Just. Complete random person uh, to uh, to ever email uh, and there told us about some of the some of the fun parts that she's really enjoyed about the podcast and from Michigan. So shout outs to Michigan, Detroit. <laughs> I mean, I, I know there's more to Michigan than that, but I, I, I mean that's where RoboCop comes from. Whenever so. I hear Michigan, I think of two things: one, RoboCop; two, a line from Afro Man's <laughs> crazy rap. <laughs> I met a girl from Michigan. I, <laughs> I don't want to finish that line. What? <laughs> I met a girl from Michigan. I can't wait to fuck that bitch again. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was going to ask if Robocop that's wouldn't Anna, say that. No, no, Robocop would not say that. <laughs> Robocop would shoot Afro Man in the dick. <laughs> Have you watched uh, our Robocop remake? Our? It, yeah, it's called Our Robocop Remake. It's just a bunch of random people. Oh, I've heard about it. You, oh, my God. I have heard about it. Because when they do the dick shooting scene, it's the most yeah. amazing fucking scene. Shot in the dick. Uh, Steph, now if they would like to follow yeah. you directly. If you'd like to follow me, uh, uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at S-T-E-P-H-U-H-N-O-I-D-S. You can find me on most social media platforms at Jordan is a bear. If you really want to contact me, use Twitter or Instagram. Jordan is a bear. You like can a, find like a bear bear? Like a... Yeah, like like an animal. <laughs> so like like the gay thing, like an actual animal. Like yeah. an animal, yeah. Okay. Well, I, 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 I hey, pick... 20 bucks is 20 bucks. <laughs> hey, hey, I, I ain't knocking you. I'm going to make sure. That... See, the funny thing is I came up with that name like back in high school. I had no idea what bears were okay. <laughs> in the gay sense. <laughs> But it's it's been my handle, so I'm like, ah, well, you know what? Now you just got to double down on it. Exactly. Yeah. That's not... Okay. Fellas. <laughs> my man, give it up. <laughs> He's a bear. Uh, and if you want to ride in my Snowpiercer, then go ahead, hit me up wow. at Graphite Night That's on the Twitter. That's even gayer. What are you... <laughs> uh, and uh, not anywhere else. <laughs> so until next week, uh, I'm Anthony. I'm Lobo. I'm Steph. And I'm Jordan. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.